Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial and in this session we will be discussing about how to implement search bar using search delegate in Flutter. So the Flutter provides a custom search delegate class which allows us to build up the search item material search in our Flutter app. Okay, so you can see here I have a simple app bar and I have an icon button over here and if, when I click on that icon button you will be able to see that uh, I will be able to get the list of uh, items that is I have I have developed this as a student database and each of them contains the name and the role number okay so all of them are listed uh, in a list view builder and as I haven't in, uh, typed any query over there in the search item all the list items get displayed as a whole okay if I just keep typing anything then you can see that the entire list goes out and only the items that contain the corresponding characters pops up okay so this is one of the important feature what we will be discussing in this tutorial and when you click on this icon button the query what you have typed here gets cleared so say for example if I have typed something over here and if I just want to clear that you can make use of this icon button and similarly if you want to navigate back then you can press this back arrow button which takes you back to the previous page okay so this is what we will be developing as a result of this video tutorial and with this idea let's move on to the coding part okay now starting with the main.add file we have the navigation to my home page and inside the my home page I have a stateful widget class and within which we have a simple scaffold alone okay so now what we need to do is like first we need to create an app bar so let me just create that app bar first and inside that app bar I will be giving the title as you can give any title you want uh, it's, it's take the text widget which is search demo for now and at last we need to have an action button and which is an icon button okay icon button and which takes the icon and for now I will be giving the icon as search icon okay search and the icon button need to have the on press event for now let me leave that as empty okay so now we have created a simple app bar and so inside this app bar is what we will be developing the search button okay the search delegate and for that we need to create another class which is which I will be naming as student search and this class extends the search delegate provided by flutter and and before that I will also like to show that here is the repository class which contains the list of all items that is all the students name and their IDs okay so I have just written down separately in say the search items that dot, dot file okay so the class name is students which I have used over here okay students and let me import that okay so why it is showing error is like it has four overrides so we can make use of them and each of the override method has a separate functionality the first build actions is like a, and the icon button what we need to have a trailing one okay so whenever you click on this icon you need a search bar just appears over here and at the trailing what icon you need to have you can just uh, list, it, list it down over here and similarly the icon what you need to have at the leading you can just write it down over here and this build result is the uh, action what you need to perform once the search query has been successfully uh, followed out so if the search is complete and the result is uh, available then what action you need to perform after uh, the user it's enter okay so that logic you can write it down over here in this uh, widget override method and inside this build suggestions is what the entire logic of the search is going to get placed okay so first let's just complete one by one first is the build actions and it returns icon button okay 
for the icon button so let's just copy that at the top for the time check let's change in the clear so instead of search we can have it as clear okay and for now let's leave the on press empty and similarly you can have the same kind of icon button over here so this icon button is the leading one on which uh, i am going to give us so this is the back button we can have it as navigate before okay so this icon button will be appearing on the left side and this build action icon button will be appearing on the right side okay so we will be having a cross or the clear icon over the right and a back navigation icon button on the left okay so we have just uh, completed the uh, first two so this so inside this override method let's just return the query itself for now okay so the query is nothing but the data what the user enters over in the search bar okay so we will be hitting the query itself over here in this build results okay let's just move on to the build suggestions okay so here is what the entire logic of uh, search is going to get placed okay first is like a, we need to check whether the user has uh, uh, typed or made a query over that in the search bar okay uh, for that can just create a variable which is list items and if it is empty that is there is nothing in the search list field then we will be returning the entire uh, uh, set of list student list okay for that we will be just providing the student details this is the variable what we have used over here see so the list uh, variable student details contains the list of all student names and we will be displaying all the details if uh, the query is empty if suppose uh, the user has uh, typed something or typed any characters then we will be we need to just uh, provide the appropriate details of the students if the uh, if the user has typed the letter or the character a then the search results should provide all the details of the students whose letters start with a for that we need to write a logic which is student details again and we need to make use of var condition and this var condition takes the element that is so inside this element each and every list gets populated and we need to check for the uh, name alone okay the name of the student so we are going to search the student by their name and not by the id for now okay so i'll be making use of element dot name and the condition is starts with okay if the uh, student's name starts with that corresponding query what the uh, user types then i'll be just displaying that one okay as the result so the logic is very simple so if the query is empty then i will be displaying entire set of student details or else i will be just displaying the student details whose name starts with the uh, query starting word okay so this is the basic conditions we need to provide and if it is so so all these values gets uh, stored in this list item variable okay so now we need to display them okay for that we need to make use of the list view builder and before that we need we also need to check for another condition suppose if the data is not present that is if the queried uh, student detail is not present then at that time we need to provide uh, no data found or there is no search result for that appropriate name so for that we need to make the condition over here which is the item list dot list item dot is empty if it is empty that is there is no variable uh, stored in this list item then we need to return a custom message which is the text said which we can give anything no data found 
okay so this is what we will be returning if there is no details that is corresponding details are not present in the database or else if there is a data present for the corresponding query then we need to return a list view builder and the list view builder will be taking the item builder in which we need to provide the context as well as the index okay and which will return uh, before that we need to also provide the uh, item count right the item count is list items dot length it takes the list item length as the item count and will be returning so this is just a um, set of ui stuff how you want the list view to be displayed so you can just have your own styling We need to have an on tap event so we are writing this on tap event is like if the query is successful then what action you need to perform so that for that we can make use of the on tap event and here is what we will be making use of the so results override method okay so so results override method is what we have actually discussed in the beginning part so here it is so results okay and sorry okay and so we have now just uh, completed the logic of uh, showing up the corresponding list view based on the query let's just perform a hard restart and see how it works so now if i just click on this icon button nothing this happens because we haven't provided the functionality inside the on press event of that button okay so inside that on press event of the button we need to call the class or we need to pass that search delegate okay so here here is what the icon button is and we need to make use of so search and providing the delegate which is student search in our case okay so you just provide the class name and say the on press event of that button okay so now if i just click on this icon button you can see that all the list items just appears because we haven't uh, typed anything over in the search bar so as as by default all the list items gets pop up if i just uh, search for any name uh, so what i find here is so we actually search for bob and if i just click on b we get no data found why it is happening is because uh, the name is actually uh, case sensitive so everything here is case sensitive and we haven't uh, checked the logic for that so if I just click on or if I just enter small b, I will be not able to search the bob. If I just click on capital, then the name just appears. So to eradicate this error, we can make use of two lowercase or two uppercase. That is either converting all the search results into lowercase during mapping or converting them to uppercase or lowercase, whatever as you wish. So you can make use of two lowercase as a standard one okay so after this name you can just convert it to two lower case and for inside that query also we can just convert it to two lower case okay so now we have just standardized our query result as a lower case one and if i just perform hard restart and if i again just click on b small b 
you will be able to get the go over here in the search result okay you can search for anything so here we have to jack and jacob so the search result just keeps up the name until it cracks k or if it is o okay so based on the search the item name just populates okay so this is all about the search bar implementation in flutter okay it's very quite simple and easy one we haven't added any functionality for this back and close arrows so we need to write that logic over here in this on press event okay so this is for this uh, cross icon button okay so we need to clear all the query what the user has typed over here if the icon button is pressed for that we can just provide query as an empty one and that's it now if you just type anything and if you just click on this the query gets cleared okay it's very simple and similarly for uh, this back button and say this on press event you can just make use of the navigator dot pop off okay well if you now just click on this back icon button you can just navigate back to the uh, previous page okay so we have implemented all the functionalities and everything is working fine we have just passed the query alone over here so if you just click on check you'll be able to get the name alone okay well, that's it guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next video bye